Like, I like bitter coffee, and I like to throw salt on my chocolate. Um, I think that bitter chocolate also, it just, it melts nicer. <laughs> I know that's a go-to for most people. I just recently went to um, the Valrona School in Brooklyn and they have this incredible line of beautiful product. And when you taste, like you can have five different 70% chocolates, but you can really taste the difference when they're made in Ecuador, or when they're single origin, or when they're roasted on the side is not like you just, there's some really taste like citrus and some really taste like nutty. And I think that they do a really fantastic job of highlighting those different flavors. Three ingredients that I would take with me anywhere would be salt, for sure, vinegar, any kind of vinegar, and I would have to say a chili. Yeah, whether it's like a dried chili, just some kind of spice, some kind of heat, I would need. You know, working with um, some of my Latino cooks and dishwashers, like getting really brave with them, we would do the chili challenge. And so we would pick a new chili off of the roof every day and just bite into it. And sometimes they were killer where I'd have to punch myself in the face. And other times they're pretty mild. So you just kind of have to, it's another training on your palate. I wake up in the middle of the night and I'll just have an idea. I'll jump out of bed. And I'll just I'll have like a pad of paper next to my bed and just start scribbling down ideas. And I'll probably stay awake for an hour, just brainstorming and writing things down. And then I'll go back to sleep. And then I'll wake up and look at what I wrote and be like, well, this is stupid. And then just start editing. But that's usually how a lot of my ideas work is in the middle of the night for some reason. And I've heard that a lot of a lot of writers where they write best when everyone else is asleep. So I don't know if that's just a creative thing or not. Yeah, cook for TV, like or for like shoots. Like I would find myself arguing with photographers because like, no, oh, like I need to have this ice cream scoop on the plate now. Like we're not on your time, we're on my time, you know. So that was difficult for me. Um, and. I, that's not really what I'm good at. What I'm good at is cooking and, ah, uh, no. It kind of, it gives me the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. <laughs> I never thought I'd win golden, I never thought I'd win anything, but. Um, is that pretty exciting? I, it was. I was getting ready to do my gracious loser face and then they said my name and I turned around and I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Seriously, like I have to go up there now? Um, it was really exciting and I was definitely a little bit more giddy than I really thought I was going to be when I won. <laughs> it, um, yes, it has. I'll, I've heard that a lot more people have come into the North left, just more willing to try desserts. Um, I've built a lot more, con like my networking has grown. I'm in contact with way more Orange County chefs than I ever have before. Usually it was just the people of my age or the people that I've worked with. Now I'm friends with so many other chefs all over the county, and that's been awesome. It's, it's wonderful having that support from people.